Dental fluorosis. Content. Introduction. Causes. Mechanism of action. Signs and symptoms. Modeled enamel. Classification of dental fluorosis. Treatment. Prevention. Dental fluorosis also termed as modeled enamel is an extremely common disorder, characterized by hypomineralization of tooth enamel caused by ingestion of excessive fluoride during enamel formation. It is a cosmetic condition that occurs during first eight years of life. Causes Excess fluoridation of drinking water Ingestion of fluoride toothpaste Overuse of fluoride tablets Consumption of processed food made with fluoridated water Mechanism of action Structurally, an increase in fluoride intake results in an increase in degree and extent of porosity of enamel. Enamel changes described may be a result of fluoride damage of secretory amyl oblast. There can either be due to fluoride-induced change in compositin of enamel matrix or be a result of disturbance of the cellular processes during enamel maturation. Signs Chalk-like discoloration of teeth with white spot or lines on tooth enamel. In more severe cases, the affected area have yellow or brown discoloration. In extreme forms, Fluorosis may result in pitted tooth surface. Symptoms, discolored tooth. Modeled enamel. It is a condition indicates the fluorosis characterized by minute white flecks or yellow or brown spots or areas scattered irregularly streaked over the surface of tooth. It is score according to method described by Al Aluzi et al as follows. Type A white area less than 2 mm. Type B, white area more than 2 mm. Type C, brown area less than 2 mm. Type D, brown area more than 2 mm. Type E, horizontal white lines. Type F, horizontal brown lines. Classification of dental fluorosis. Normal smooth, glossy, pale, creamy white translucent surface. Questionable. Ranging from few white flecks to occasional white spot. Very mild. Small opaque paper white area scattered over the tooth. But not involving as much as 25% of tooth surface. Mild. The white opaque areas in the enamel of the tooth are more extensive but do not involve as much as 50% of the tooth. Moderate All enamel surface of teeth are affected and the surface subject to attrition show wear. Brown stain is frequently a disfiguring feature. Severe All enamel surfaces are affected discrete or confluent pitting. Brown stains are widespread and teeth often present a corroded-like appearance. Normal Smooth, glossy, pale, creamy white translucent surface. Questionable Ranging from few white flecks to occasional white spot. Very mild Small opaque paper white area scattered over the tooth but not involving as much as 25% of tooth surface. Mild. The white opaque areas in the enamel of the tooth are more extensive but do not involve as much as 50% of the tooth. Moderate. All enamel surface of teeth are affected and the surface subject to attrition show wear. Brown stain is frequently a disfiguring feature. Severe. All enamel surfaces are affected discrete or confluent pitting. Brown stains are widespread and teeth often present a corroded-like appearance. Treatment. Microabrasion, conservative removal of outer layer of enamel, followed by tooth whitening can make the brown discoloration less apparent. 
bonding. It coats the teeth with hard resin that bonds to the enamel. Crown Before and after Veneers These are the customized shells that cover the front of teeth to improve the appearance. Fluorosis Prevention To prevent fluorosis, fluoridation of drinking water should not exceed normal range. Normal range, 0.7 to 1.2 ppm. Fluoride supplements should only be prescribed for children living in non-fluoridated. Use only acceptable amount of toothpaste for children under 6 year, pea size. It is important to teach the child to spit out the toothpaste after brushing instead of swallowing. Differentiation between fluorosis and white lesion. Features of white carious lesions More defined shape Well differentiated from surrounding enamel Often located in the middle of the crown Randomly distributed If the growth stops brownish discoloration is seen which is known as arrested caries Features of dental fluorosis White slash yellowish lesion Not well defined they are visible without drying of teeth. These usually have a smooth surface. Symmetrically distributed. Carious white spot lesion. A number of factors can lead to the development of white spot on tooth. Sometimes these spots are caused by nutrition, genetics, or an excessive intake of fluoride while other times they become evident after braces have been removed. Usually white spots that appear on teeth are actually areas of decalcified enamel and sometimes this problem leads to the deterioration of teeth. First evidence of tooth decay is a white spot lesion and by this the tooth enamel has taken on an opaque color in the area where cavities begin to form. White spot on the tooth can appear after the changes have occurred in the mineral content of teeth. White spot can appear in connection with condition called fluorosis which results of having excess intake of fluoride. White spot lesion are also commonly attributed to orthodontic braces. Types of white carious lesions Smooth surface caries They are defined as the caries present on the proximal surfaces and along the gingival one-third of the tooth surface. Pit and fissure caries. Pits are defined as small depressions present along the terminal ends of the development clefts. Fissures are defined as long clefts present on the occlusal surface of molars and premolars. Patient with orthodontic braces have difficulty in brushing their teeth and results in buildup of plaque. The acid in the plaque can severely harm to the enamel and eventually cause cavities. The first evidence of this type of tooth decay is white decalcified enamel spot or lesion that becomes apparent when braces are removed. Treatment Fluoride treatment Bonding and porcelain laminate placement depending on the severity of the problem, 